Good day, my name is Fernando Denais. I work for Berkshire Maestros. I teach violin and viola. Um, you have seen my video of how to hold your bow, and I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that would be useful in your preparation to um, taking the steps of holding a bow. So the first thing that, um, that I find useful is that you want to try and keep the thumb bent when you're holding a bow. So in order to practice that, a good exercise is to connect the thumb and the two middle fingers in the shape of a parrot beak. So you're going to just open and close that 10 times. And you can do three reps of 10. And just repeat that. And just be careful that you don't open your thumb so it goes straight. Try to keep the shape of the thumb bent. So you're opening and closing, opening and closing. So that's just going to give you a sense of the shape of the thumb when you are holding a bow. The next, uh, the next finger which, uh, which we want to try to keep curved is the pinky. So another exercise would be to follow that by, um, let's say, five reps of the pinky joining the thumb in a curled round shape. One, two, three, four, five, and you can do three reps. Try to do that each day and you'll start to get a sense of, of the feeling of the thumb being pushed outwards and the pinky being round on the bow. Following that, the next step I would, um, I would take is using a pencil as your bow because a pencil is a lot lighter. So what we're going to do again is we're going to hold the pencil horizontal in your left hand and we're going to go through the steps with your right hand the bow hold so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bend the thumb and we're going to bring the bent thumb to the middle of your pencil so you can see that the thumb is still bent I'm not going to with a straight thumb to the pencil because we want to keep the thumb bent so we take a bent thumb and connect it to the side of the pencil following that you can either do one finger at a time go over with the ring the middle finger then the ring finger pinky and index finger, or you simply can do the thumb, the two middle fingers over at the same time, and bearing in mind that these two fingers go over to the first joint. So the fingers are not sitting on the top, we're going over the bow, over the pencil. Then we'll place the pinky on top of the pencil with one finger space between the pinky and the middle fingers. And the same thing for the index finger. The index finger is going to come down one finger space on the first joint onto the pencil. Now, some simple exercise that you can do once you've got your bow hold is you can rotate what I call a windscreen wiper. You can just go backwards and forwards like this. And a second good exercise to do, which just starts to get all the movements from the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, is to, or to do what I call rocket. So you go, you follow from your belly button, and you go straight up, watch it going up, and then come back down in a straight, in a straight line. I hope these exercises have helped. Once you are secure with um, with a bow hold with a pencil, then you can move on to to using the bow. And I'll repeat that again one more time. So you hold your your bow horizontal. Um, with your left hand about um, at the balance point of the bow and then again you will bend your thumb bring it to the nose of the frog so this is called the the frog this black part here and you want your thumb to connect to the frog if you had to use the timeline 12 o'clock would be straight I would go in to the nose of the frog at an angle of one o'clock so once your thumb is secure you wrap your two middle fingers opposite your thumb so that the first joint is going over the bow and then the pinky will connect and then if you ideally want to bring this the, the index finger down you can actually rotate the whole arm so that this finger comes down and it's curved you don't want the finger to be straight you want to have it slightly curved onto the first joint once you feel that is secure then you can release your left hand and bring your bow up straight and then you can do the windscreen wiper again but now because there's a lot more weight um, on your fingers from the bow I would suggest instead of going all the way to three o'clock to nine o'clock 
maybe do it to 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock to start with, just to get a sense of what that feels like. And once you feel comfortable, your fingers are not changing, then you can take it to 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock mm -hmm. and then follow on to 9 o'clock and all the way down to 3 o'clock. I hope that has helped um, and we will see you again. Thank you.